Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley. Today we are looking at the Cooper Urban Rebel. A super busy stand. Some stats as we're walking around it. It is a very little stats actually because it just launched today. It's a 166 kilowatt motor giving you 226 PS. 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 6.9 seconds range saying between 400 kilometers and 440 kilometers front wheel drive and it's just over four meters long it is has that shark fin but it doesn't have the cooper bit underneath it has this stylizing but you've got those triangle lights there as well illuminated cooper badge on this concept but it's actually not going to be the one that we're going to get we've got illuminated cooper down at the bottom as well you can see there it's got that helmet design is what they're calling it super packed here so it's a b and c pillar then is colored and then as you move around the back <laughs> lots of people here is you've got that triangle designs you've got that illuminated cupra you can see the spoilers up there as well and you've got that diffuser at the bottom really nice aggressive beautiful looking you can see 3d yeah, this is literally just first impressions here. Some really nice stuff on the inside of the car. Inside then. Finally have a chance to have a look on the inside. We've talked about it before with the Volkswagen Group and they say light is the new chrome and with this Cupra stylizing with the triangle lights and I think it looks great with these fog lights. It's a concept, don't get me wrong, but what we saw tonight was all of the Cooper lineup actually having these triangular lights, headlights, and you'll see in this animation as well what the indicator system will look like. So it looks really well. Otherwise, on the outside, you've got that Cooper copper that we're getting used to knowing, seeing around the place now. So um, it, here in the alloys um, for a concept, do you know what? I can see this actually coming very close to the mark when it starts to make production. And we're looking at 2025, I think is what it's coming in at. Um, beautiful rear and uh, some of the comments on social media were, were talking about how it reminds them of a kind of a small EV6 which I think is a compliment uh, being a European car of the year you've got that gloss black diffuser underneath uh, and again that triangular language with the taillights and that I don't think we're going to get that 3D Cupra illuminated badge once it's this actually comes to market um, beautiful design and this will be the basis for all Volkswagen groups um, small bevs or uh, so I've heard a couple of things this week or sorry at this launch uh, it was called the baby bev or the small bev or the city bev and so this will be the Volkswagen this will be the Seat this will be the Cupra this will be the um, the Skoda uh, what, what we're going to see in that small uh, Volkswagen group Moving on then, we have the interior and you can see straight away it is, uh, you'd, you'd recognize it from MEB, but I think they've done some really nice stuff here. Um, the, the augmented reality uh, IQ light that you would have had on the Volkswagen, you can see there on the windscreen and on the side panel, side windows as well. Steering wheel, this is very concept and uh, with that, it's a four spoke steering wheel. Um, but you can see kind of the, the gamification of the steering wheel with that directional pad on the left and then your selection buttons on the right. That large center um, round element, again, it wouldn't house an airbag, so we're not going to see that on the actual production model, but you can see where they're going with it. Um, so it, that it's for targeting that younger generation, that gamer generation. Um, really nice, and that contrast in kind of a lime green or lime yellow um, colors you'll see in the stitching on the actual steering wheel as well you'll see that boost button and that boost button is interesting because um, 
when Wayne Griffin was asked what does it do or he was asking the designer what does it do um, with the driver display in the middle when you press that boost button on this concept anyway what happens is these extra panels pop out either side with the information and then in the middle then you've got an augmented reality um, display that's in, in this demonstration here it's showing you that racing line center console is nice with that cooper cup holder and again a lot of copper accents going on here but there is an element of a floating um, console you've got that uh, volkswagen group touch sensitive uh, climate control etc over your left knee you've got the lighting again very similar to the meb platforms the id4 id5 id3 um, made a big point about their the tactility of their materials and you can start to see that cupra arrowhead that we've seen on the born and this is the dash uh, i think it looks stunning they're using a lot of recycled materials they're using um 3d printing so being really smart about uh, what they're doing and how they're using it um, and again you can see elements of that cupra arrowhead coming through here it's the fabric in the seats again using uh, recycled materials but bringing in that uh, lime yellow or lime green color here we have the bottom of the infotainment screen and it is again that touch sensitive system that Volkswagen Group are using um, and so for this concept anyway they're continuing to use it whether you, whether you like it or not um, and again you can see the information that they have on that side paddle um, range as I talked about is between 400 for the performance and 440 you've got that d-pad illuminated as well and your selection buttons on the other side so interior wise i didn't get a chance to sit inside it this evening uh, it was very much stick a camera in so i said i'd use this more professional looking footage but looked good uh, and space seemed interesting the seats themselves the the uh, actual frame of the seat is made with flax which is obviously very sustainable and you've got that again lime green and yellow um, elements coming through in the design and you've got your copper and they were asked the interior designer or the designer was asked on stage uh, will copper continue to be uh, recognized as a cooper color this is again concept with regards to the adjustment on the seats um yeah it's, it's a nice size and somebody asked me again on social media what did it look like size wise somebody thought it looked very suv-ish which i think we're all getting accustomed to what an suv looks like but no this is this is entry level um small electric vehicle for the Volkswagen group so four meters long if you were to compare it to a traditional combustion engine you're talking like a1 this will be the new e up kind of entry level bev and i think obviously cooper and their styling this is the um iq light in the id range but um again you can see that stylized seats but so for a concept externally and internally you can definitely see where when it does get released how it will be not far off this um this concept that we saw tonight um i really enjoyed it and i think it looks great and i think uh, cooper are doing a great job got that and then you've got that underneath so that is and you can see all the lights going on there so that is the cooper urban rebel hopefully you've enjoyed that quick walk around um, make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the like button we're on that drive to 10,000 subscribers before the end very busy here with the cooper urban rebel and remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching.